What is going on, Java Minecraft players that want to play Forge Mods with Amethyst on their Android device? Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. This video is going to show you some important tips about creating a new profile, how to open up your game directory, how to grab your mods from Modrinth, and basically copy them to the mods folder inside of your custom mods folder that we're going to create. How do we do that? Well, let's jump over and basically install Forge first. So how do we do that? So click on the Forge profile right beside where it says pencil. I'm just kidding, just making sure you're paying attention. So right beside the pencil icon, click on the profile icon right here. Yours might just say default, mine says fabric because I did a video about how to set up fabric. If you wanna go watch that, you can definitely go do so. Click on create new profile and scroll down until you see create forge profile. So click on it. Now, for the Forge profile that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using 1.20.1. Why? Well, that's probably because I like to play with horror mods, and that's the one that I like to use, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay? Now, click on that and wait for it to install. It's going to run this little window. Now, if you get another window that says, do you want to install the client or the server, then click on the client and then install it. Sometimes that window pops up still on older Android devices. Not sure why but it should load like this. It shouldn't load another window or anything like that. Just wait for this to build its processes and then it'll should at least automatically close. There we go. Now click on your profile icon again and there's that profile right there. Now I'll click on this pencil icon and now we can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name this Horror Craft. That's what I'm gonna name it. And now I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go down to where it says custom path. Click on that. Now inside of this folder right here, you're gonna create a folder. I'm gonna name this Horror Craft, just like so. And the reason why? Well, that's because that's where all my mods are gonna go. Now I'm gonna click on select this folder and I'm gonna make sure that that custom path is set to that folder still, okay? So select that folder and you can see the folder path by clicking on that or you can just see it right here where it says Horror Craft. The next thing I'm gonna do, make sure I'm selecting mobile glues. Any versions above 1.17 require mobile glues. As you can see here, it says 117 or above. Anything below it, well, you can use Holy, but Holy is going to give you issues, especially on versions below 1.24, because you might have some mods that don't work without using mobile glues. So that's all I'm gonna tell you about that. So save and now we're going to click play very important is that you click play before we get to the next step which is downloading the mods from modrinth okay now that we have the forge loader loaded we can click on quick game and then we can go back into amethyst for a second now click on open game directory and you should be inside the dot horror minecraft folder which is right here and as you can see you have your mods folder your resource pack folder your saves and that is about it that's all you really need to know now we're gonna to navigate to Modrinth, okay? Modrinth is the website that we're going to get our mods from. And the reason why I like to use Modrinth on the most part is just because of how easy it is to access on our Android device. Now you can get mods from CurseForge if you want. There's a lot of horror mods on CurseForge that aren't on Modrinth, so you might wanna go there first. However, let's go to click on discover content, click mods. Now you can filter your results. If you've never used Modernth before, you can filter your results and change it to the, the actual version and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna do that today. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to scroll down. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna look for something. Uh, maybe I'm gonna grab, um, yeah, see, this is where filter results. So let's go to filter results and let's click on the actual version. And that's why I did that at first, because I thought it would be kind of funny just to be like, oh, it's so confusing, what do I do? What do I download? What do I? What can actually work on Forge? Well, that's why we have this filter option. And it'll just show all the mods that are able to be used on Forge. Now, some mods require other things before you can actually use them, but I'm going to only basically grab the Ore Harvester mod. That's one that I like to use. And I'm going to download it, click on the game version. Now we're going to be selecting the latest one, which is 120.1 and for Forge, okay? That's the version that I'm using. Now, if you're using 1.21.10 right now, then download it for that one. Click download. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is going to crash. And the reason why is because I didn't get the dependency that is required for the Ore Harvester mod to work. But don't worry. Sometimes, not all the times, when we 
basically go into our game, it'll tell us that we're missing something. And you might still be confused, especially if you don't understand what the heck it's saying. I'm gonna to try to help you with that. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on open game directory, click the three lines on the top left hand side, go to your device name, go to your download folder, grab that ore harvester mod, click on it, long press, click copy to, three lines, amethyst, go down to your folder that you created, mine was called horrorcraft, don't forget, click on mods and copy it in there. Navigate back to Amethyst, click play. Now this is again going to crash, it should show up with, hey, you're missing something. And I'm gonna show you that in two seconds. And here we go. So as you can see here, it says mod or harvester requires collective 7.91 or above. And it says it's currently not installed. Now you're not always going to get this crash. If you get any other crashes or anything like that, you can try to read your logs, but honestly, it's probably easier for you to jump over to the Discord if you get any other crashes. Otherwise, on the most part, the mods will tell you, hey, you're missing something usually. And if it's something else that might be incompatible because not all mods are compatible with Amethyst, I'm gonna tell you that, then basically just, I don't know, go over to Discord and ask for help. That's about it. Now, collective mod, or the library that it's called, is what we needed. So we're gonna grab that, make sure we grab it for the right version for Forge, and grab that, go back into your file manager, long press on that collective, click copy to, go down to Amethyst, go to your folder that you created, go to your mods folder, click copy, now close out of everything, go back into Amethyst, and yes, I've used this quite a few times, so I know what I'm doing. Click play, and we should be on our merry way to enjoy your first set of Forge mods and your first mod pack, because basically all you're doing is just creating a mod pack at this point, which you could technically share with your friends if you wanted to. So here we go, we're loading the game. It should load right into the Forge loader. Now we can go into our mod section. We can see that ore harvester, we can config it. So basically drop ores at first broken block, no. Do I have to sneak to basically dig out the ores? Yes, I have to sneak. So I'm gonna basically leave that to no. Click done, click done, go to single player. And I'm going to create my world and enjoy playing with Forge mods in 2025 so that you can just do whatever you want on your Android phone. Now again, jump over to the Discord if you need extra help. I have a Discord as well. I'm also part of the helper team on the Amethyst team. And also don't forget to check out the other videos in the playlist that help you with Amethyst in 2025. Have a nice day, enjoy playing Minecraft Java Edition on your Android gaming handheld or your phone. I'm going to go punch some sugarcane. Bye-bye!